Hey, Church, uh, it's good to see you this afternoon. Um, we're joined here today uh, with, uh, haven't said this a lot, Alex and April Caprian. Uh, Got to get used to saying those two words together. And so uh, uh, Alex and April are newlyweds, and they're also both uh, nurses. They're both in the medical profession. And so as we are constantly trying to get membership out in front of membership and uh, let, let people see what's going on in the world around them as we're kind of uh, um, hunkering in um, in our own spaces right now. Uh, one of the reasons I asked them to come on and do this is that we certainly as a church want to pray for their needs and, and kind of know what's going on and um, from the view of a medical professional. But first, guys, if you would just take a moment and um, just share with our church family and others about what, what's been the biggest challenge for you um, since everything that was normal really changed? Um, well, it's, it's the fear of the unknown. You know, we don't know how bad we're going to get hit. You know, we might be um, getting hit hard. You know, we might not get hit that hard, and which is what we're hoping for, but we just, we don't know. Hopefully we've prepared um, and we're ready for it, but we don't necessarily, if we get hit hard, don't have the equipment that we need. You know, we only have so much of everything to take care of. Um, personal protective equipment for ourselves and ventilators for the patients. We only have so much. So that's been pretty hard for us to just take that in. So in addition to uh, in addition to that, I know where both of you guys work in the hospital. Have you have you been you had to go somewhere else um, and and do di particular tasks that uh, are in a different place in the hospital that's not normal to you or? Well, uh, for me, I'm a, what do you call a floater? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I float throughout the hospital, so I haven't had any special requests uh, as of now, but. Um, Okay. Well, I work in an ancillary department, right. and so like um, patients or people that work in endo and cath lab and surgery, they're getting split up through the hospital. Mm -hmm. So they're getting trained in telemetry or ICU or CCU in places that we're expecting to transition to other areas. Um, so we're trying to revamp all of the hospital to prepare for a possible influx mm -hmm. of COVID patients. Right. How has your faith uh, just been? Uh, impact uh, impacted your your work uh, just all the time, but more specifically during these these trying times that of the unknown. Well, uh, the good news is is that I think in during these times, uh, God has allowed us to um, get closer to Him uh, during this time. Like we still have the Word of God, uh, you know that's not that hasn't been taken away from us. Uh, we have this great opportunity to, um, in, you know, um, to strengthen our relationship with the Lord, uh, you know, because we live a busy life. You know, everybody's busy. Uh, everybody has some place to go. Uh, well, now that we're being quarantined and practicing social distancing, you know, now you have this opportunity that God has given us. Uh, to stay home with our families, to read the word, you know, we, we have the Bibles with us, you know, um, and, you know, we don't have to go to a building uh, to worship right now. We have social media. Um, we have our families. We can worship wherever we are. And that's the beauty of it. And, you know, keep trusting in the Lord um, because he is in control of all this, you know, and um, what the scripture that bring, uh, comes to mind is, Joshua 1 9 where you know he's saying uh, be strong and courageous um, do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go you know we got to trust in him and depend on him you know these are trying times um, and you know we have a great opportunity to be an example to those who are lost and um, so I mean, that's, that's my take on that. Absolutely. Um, so, so just following that and just kind of uh, um, putting this before the church body, I guess two real things. Um, how, how can a church family uh, come alongside you um, in this? And even more specifically, what particular things can we pray for? What, uh, what issues have you seen that we may 
that may be a little bit outside of our box that uh, you guys are privy to that we can pray specifically for maybe the struggles of a coworker or something like that? Um, well, I mean, there's always struggles for coworkers that we need to pray for. Um, but I think during the COVID scare, it's for our safety, right. you know, that we don't bring anything home. You know, for me, it's, I'm a newlywed. I don't want to bring it home to my girls now. Right. Um, that we have the equipment that we need, uh, that um, people practice what they're supposed to, the social distancing, um, that they wash their hands, that they don't <laughs> get all over the place and overwhelm the hospital. You know, I think that, I don't know. And again, this is a good opportunity if you have a weak prayer life, you know, this is a good opportunity to start working on your prayer life. Yeah. You know, um, it's a good time to do that, you know, start praying and practicing um, uh, fasting, you know, praying every day because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know, you know, um, the end result of this, but just keep trusting in God through all of it. Yeah. Well, guys, we, we just want to take time and pray for you um, and lift you up and, and let you know that we're, uh, we're, we're just really grateful people like you um, are, uh, are in our healthcare system. And I know you work with so many believers as well. And, and the fact that they know where their trust is, they know where their faith is, and they are, they're running to the front lines and uh, just uh, serving vulnerable people right now. And so we want to pray for you and, and lift you up. Uh, as a church body. So let's pray. Father in heaven, we uh, come to you. We just thank you so much for Alex and April and thank you for our relationship with them and and uh, that we love them as brothers and sisters in Christ. And we thank you for the vocation that you've called them into. Uh, Lord, we often say that uh, our vocation is believer and minister of the Lord Jesus Christ and that uh, what we do um, is lived out in that capacity. And so, Father, as they are ministering in your name, as healthcare professionals, Lord, use them for your glory at the hospital. Uh, Lord, alongside all the others that, that are there that uh, are just doing a tremendous work, Father, we just pray for your hand upon them. Um, we pray for their protection. We pray for their equipment. Father, we pray for their witness. We pray for their strength. We pray for their safety. We pray that uh, they would uh, be able to gain rest in the times that they have off. And Lord, brother, Lord that you would just ease their load of their other responsibilities right now. And, and Lord, we, uh, we would be remiss not to pray for the patients as well. Um, Lord, those that have already contracted this and those that will. Uh, Father, we pray for uh, healing and we pray for strength in their lives. And Lord, we give all this to you for your name and for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you guys for taking time this afternoon uh, for doing this and just know we're, we're holding you up in prayer. Okay. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much.